Still talking about guide tubes here. Um, got two different machines: a Taz from Lulzbot and a Creator from Leapfrog. The Taz has a comparable setup to the Rep One, but it has a, a movable mount um, closer to the top of the machine, and that allows the, the guide tube to flex a little bit so that the filament feeds directly into it um, as you know as the filament traverses back and forth across the spool this can flex and allow it to go straight in and not catch on the edge. Um, it sweeps through a about 180 degree arc of a, a, a nice big radius so in general we don't have any problems uh, with, with feeding NinjaFlex through this setup. The way to get ar around all this though obviously is to mount your spools above your machine, not use a guide tube at all and just allow the filament to feed directly into the extruder. You can I guess get a little bit of deflection of, of your print head due to the force it requires to uh, unspool the filament, but we've never seen any degradation in print quality going with this setup, so uh, it, it works pretty well, has the benefit of, of allowing you to quickly change your filaments. Uh, the creator has the, the filament spools mounted inside the machine in the bottom, and then the guide tube sweeps out like a 360 degree arc. So we get a little bit more drag in the system, although we, we do get um, reliable prints from this machine using the guide tubes, but we still opt for putting the spools up above the machine and allowing it to, to feed directly in.